5 o'clock tonight, officers responded to the Starbucks here at Fred Meyer on the report that a man was inside. Uh, he was behind the counter yelling at employees, uh, acting drunk, uh, and uh, initially reported by uh, the caller that no weapons were seen. As officers were responding, uh, they either received information or they, they got uh, they got here and learned that employees were hiding in a back room, uh, trying to stay away from the man who was trying to get into that back room area. Uh, upon officer's arrival, uh, there was a second encounter with the man uh, outside the Starbucks. More shots were fired. Uh, the, the suspect uh, went down uh, with injuries. Officers attempted to render medical aid and get him into custody, but he was fighting with those officers. Trying to help him to get him in handcuffs to get uh, medical personnel to treat him. Ultimately, they were able to get him restrained. Uh, medical personnel came in and transported him to the hospital by ambulance. Uh, he is suffering from gunshot wounds, uh, but he is expected to survive. Uh, during the incident, four Portland police officers uh, discharged their firearms. Uh, there was uh, a gun recovered at the scene that was the suspect's. That has not been examined yet. We don't know really much about it. Uh, we'll know more tomorrow. Uh, and no other people were injured uh, during this incident. The store and Starbucks uh, should stay closed probably the rest of the evening uh, for the investigation. Uh, and uh, we should have it wrapped up in a few hours. Questions? Do you know if the suspect fired a shot at all? Or? Uh, we don't know that yet. Uh, there was initial information uh, that was broadcast that it was a uh, Exchange of gunfire. We have not confirmed that yet. Uh, we have not confirmed if the firearm is real or a replica. Uh, we should know that in a few hours. Uh, one other uh, piece of information I can share is that the preliminary uh, uh, investigation uh, has identified the suspect as a uh, man in his 30s who is a federal fugitive for escape. Uh, we'll have more details on that uh, after he's booked into jail, but uh, we have identified him preliminarily. Is that what it is? Is that why the FBI is on the scene? Yeah, FBI was here uh, because he was a federal fugitive. Uh, they, they're not part of the investigation per se, but they did respond because of that. Um, that escaped truck. Really, really posting on social media, is that something maybe to the uh, extent of a hostage situation? Is that the case, or do we, do we know anything more about that? Well, so the initial information, the, the employees were trying to hide in a back room to keep him out, and he was trying to get in. Um, you know, we don't yet know what was in the mind of the suspect. What was he attempting to do there? Uh, certainly, uh, one can imagine that the employees were scared uh, of his behavior. Uh, but I, I, at this point, I wouldn't want to call it a hostage situation without having information. How many employees, employees were inside the Starbucks? I'm sorry, what's that? How long he was inside the Starbucks, or how long this all was going on? I think it, it evolved pretty quickly. He got in there um, and was acting again initially with the caller reporters. He was acting drunk. Did, uh, to officers, he was displaying uh, signs that maybe he was under the influence of uh, some kind of narcotic, a stimulant. Uh, but once he was in there, it sounds like he went behind the counter and that generated a 911 call and officers got in the area. How many employees were inside the Starbucks at the time? Uh, more than one. I don't know how many, though. Uh, my understanding is customers were there but may have left prior to police getting there. Either they left on their own or employees got them out, I'm not sure what that is. So by the time that the employees went inside the back room, only the employees were inside, along with the suspect? That's correct. Yeah. Customers inside at that time? Uh, my understanding is customers, uh, customer, customers may have been in there initially, but they left or employees told them to leave prior to uh, them going to the back room and hiding the police arriving. So police got here, it was just the suspect and uh, the employees. Can you share with us what the federal warrant is? It's a federal warrant for escape, uh, which generally means he was uh, released from custody and is on like a halfway house kind of situation. Um, we'll know more about I'll be able to say more about that tomorrow once uh, he gets booked. Are you able to say if that's an Oregon charge or from another state? It's a federal charge, so U.S. Marshals. So he, uh, federal escape charges would come if he was a, he's a uh, parolee from the Federal Correctional Institute. I just, I don't know which one where he came from. Gotcha. Well, well uh, to elaborate, I guess uh, that halfway house that you mentioned, is that from, is that in Oregon oh, or is that from another uh, state? 
you know, I don't know that. Just to clarify, so Portland Police fired shots inside the Starbucks and then outside. As yeah, well. my understanding is there was two separate incidents, one inside the store and then outside. And there's just four police officers. Four different officers, yeah. And I don't know, you know, we don't know yet when, where, how. Yeah, you know, something like this is, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough situation because you have uh, a lot of people coming in the shop, you have people in the coffee shop, um, you know, it's getting near the holidays, and so it's a, or during the holidays, so uh, there's, there's expected to be a lot of people coming and going, and you have someone uh, acting erratically, and officers, you know, get here and he's got a gun and they engage in a gunfire. I mean, that's, that's a, a, a very tough situation, a very... Uh, you know, fortunate that no loss of life occurred, uh, and no nobody uninvolved in this incident was injured. So, as far as an agency standpoint, then investigating you guys, marshals, any other <clears throat> uh, marshals aren't aren't involved in the investigation here. They would be uh, they would be searching for a fugitive, uh, but and, and FBI. Uh, so, Portland Police uh, and East County Major Crimes Team are conducting the officer involved shooting investigation. Uh, the suspect uh, would be released from the hospital at some point. I don't expect that to be tonight. Uh, and upon release from there, he'd be booked into the Multnomah County Jail on his outstanding federal warrant, as well as uh, you know, to be determined charges from, from today's incident. Uh, the case, of course, would go to a grand jury, uh, as it normally does, uh, and because of involving a suspect uh, with potentially other charges, uh, that would happen likely sooner than some others that we've seen because he'll be in custody. Did you say that the Fred Meyer is closed as of this point? That's my understanding. Uh, I, I, I'll confirm that, but it, uh, I think all the entrances are blocked off, so there's no way for folks to get in. What's that? Can you? Yeah, I'll, I'll double check to make sure. Because okay, it was open for a little bit uh, earlier while the investigation okay. was going on. Do you know if it was closed? earlier at some point? Or? Well, I know they went into lockdown uh, initially. Uh, obviously, for safety reasons, we don't you know, don't know a lot of information about what's happening initially. Um, but I'll confirm if they've reopened or if they've just shut down for the night. And any idea how long the parking lot's going to be closed for, at least this section of the parking lot? Well, it, I know they're, the investigators are working to condense the scene, as it were. Um, so that may take a little bit of time to get to that point. There were quite a few people on that drive that bus at one point. Do you have a lot of witnesses to what happened here tonight? My understanding is there are several witnesses that saw different parts of the incident. So, uh, you know, we want to talk to everybody that saw anything from, you know, the initial encounter where he's inside the store, um, you know, acting erratically, uh, up to and including the officers, you know, firing their, their weapons. Um, you know, people have video, people have images. All that's very helpful to the investigation. I mean, you know, we have... Uh, it's a multi-layered investigation. I mean, we're investigating why he was here, uh, what he was doing with the employees. Um, he had a firearm. You know, he engaged the officers that way. Uh, you know, the officers' use of deadly force. I mean, it's, there's a lot of different aspects to this, and our investigators have to look at all of that. Uh, presumably, there's some video at the store at Starbucks that they'll look for and try to obtain as part of the investigation. Any further updates tonight? I don't anticipate any more updates tonight. Uh, investigators will be out here for several hours. Uh, you know, expect something tomorrow. Uh, you know, barring anything unusual, we re release uh, names and, and uh, any new information sometime tomorrow. Uh, and the investigation uh, should take on its normal course when it comes to our internal operations as far as officer interviews and all those things. I got a question. Uh, I may have not heard of it. Hurt or whatever? Did you say that the you don't know if the suspect expired first or the officer expired first, or you don't know? Well, preliminary information that's broadcast in the call indicates there may have been an exchange of gunfire. We've not confirmed that yeah, yet. He shot, yeah, we have oh, not okay, confirmed okay. that yet. So I don't want that to be left out there. Uh, there is a firearm there. We need to uh, uh, examine it to determine is it a real firearm, and then determine if the suspect fired shots as well. Oh, okay, so that's okay. that's unanswered question right now. Cool. Thank you. Hey, you bet. Go home. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll confirm on the Fred Meyer thing, and, and if uh, 
And you guys got the commander right there. And he doesn't confirm yet if the suspect fired, if it's a replica, if you don't know if it's real or not. But there was an exchange of gunfire with the suspect and the officers.